I was lucky enough when I moved to America to uh, get onto a TV show. And uh, I'm recording this, so I can't say the name of the show. But uh, it's a show in which uh, celebrity judges try to determine who in America has got talent. And... Uh, a little description for you there. It was a fun show. It was good, you know? Every comedian always wonders what Heidi Klum thinks about their comedy. And... Uh, that, that was a joke, I don't... There was no laughter there. You guys were like, oh, I didn't know that. Comedians... Comedians really care about Heidi Klum's opinion. That's cool. German supermodel, she didn't... You don't really need much of a sense of humor when you're a German supermodel, you know? She's a good, good lady, though. Talking about her like I know her. I don't know Heidi Klum at all, but... She, she wasn't a fan. I lost in the second round. They kicked me out. I lost to a juggler. Fuck. That one doesn't get any easier to say, but, uh... He's a damn good juggler, but still, he was a juggler. Uh, tough. They love the hearing aid, Joe. If you have a disability on that show, they love it. The disability porn, they're all about that, man. For real, they... Oh, my God. Every time they showed me, like, sad violin music was playing. Like, zooming in on my hearing aid, bumping into my head and shit. I'm like, I think you got the close-up there, bud, you know? Okay. They asked me to cry during the interview portion. They were like, explicitly, they were like, if you could cry, that would really help us out. For real, I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna cry. I'm, I'm good, I'm happy. And they were like, we'll see. <laughs> so the interview started and they were like, so tell us about your sad sad life. And I was like, no, I'm good. Life's pretty great. And they were like, but really, though, it must suck. I was like, no, I'm pretty good. Pretty happy. Life's awesome. They were like, we're going to go with the juggler. Uh, he's got 10 kids. He immigrated from Romania. He cries on command. This guy's got it going on. Man. I get it. I get it. Disability in the media, that's how they have to package it, right? There's only like two ways that they package disabilities. There's either like pity or inspiration. That's it. There's no like middle ground where they're just showing people leading a normal life with a disability. It's always like the pity, like, oh, look at this person leading their sad, sad life. <laughs> or the inspiration where they're like, look at what this person has been able to accomplish despite their sad, sad life. <laughs> There's no, there's nothing in them. I don't, no. Yeah, thank you. I don't do the inspiration thing, that's for sure, man. I'm just some, I don't do the pity thing. That ain't me. Pity? No, I mean, I wear hearing aids, but I'll still fuck your girl, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's a pro-disability joke. We should all feel good about that one. <laughs>